Amy D goes in. All set. And they're off and racing. And even beginning, Amy D pokes her head in front, followed closely by Chocolate Freckles and Ida Need a Drink. These three up front, a length back to Unsinkable Molly B on the inside and the all white. To the outside of her, it is McLean's Bella. And the trailer is I Sharpie as we move down this back stretch. In front by half a length, Ida Need a Drink in between her. On the inside, it is Chocolate Freckles. On the outside of her, Amy D and McLean's Bella is making up a bit of ground. Sneaking up on the rail, Chocolate Freckles now takes the the race into our own hooves and is in front by half a length. Ida need a drink second, then it's half a length back to McLean's Bella. Amy D is plummeting back as she is now fifth. We're now moving into the far turn, into the quarter pole. The leader is still Chocolate Freckles in the blue cap. And now with only a furlong and a half to go, she is just in front, Unsinkable. Molly B is trying to find some racing room on the outside of her. Ida need a drink. Unsinkable Molly B is now looming large. Chocolate Freckles trying to hold her off, but Unsinkable Molly B is unwavering and wears her down and now takes the lead for herself. She's opening up. She's clear by now two lengths. On the inside, Ice Sharpie late for third, but it's all Unsinkable Molly B, a photo for second between Chocolate Freckles and Ice Sharpie and a drop back to Ida Need a Drink who was fourth. The final time, 110.66. And they're off and racing, winning the break by just a hair was Canterbury Gold. On the outside, Clubhouse Saint goes up to challenge, and then only a break of two to the rest of the field, which is Oratory Glory and Streamer. We move away from the grandstand into the first turn. It is Canterbury Gold who is now going to establish a much bigger lead of now a length and a half on Clubhouse Saint, who is biding his time in second on the inside Oratory Glory, and then half a length back to Streamer, but only four lengths concludes these four horses into the back stretch. So Canterbury Gold remains the leader. No particular change in order, and Harry Hernandez is in no rush to keep him any faster down this backstretch. Then in second place, Clubhouse Saint, and then on the inside, Oratory Glory only moves up slightly, only three quarters of a length behind Clubhouse Saint, and then the trailer is still Streamer, but all four of these horses have a chance to do this as we continue down this backstretch and are now approaching the far turn. Clubhouse Saint now moves up to make a challenge, and now these two are nip and nap, and now Clubhouse Saint just goes on by. Clubhouse Saint has now opened up a neck, now half a length on Canterbury Gold, who is in the second position as we are about to hit the quarter pole. Clubhouse Saint has now opened up a full length streamer on the outside, is also making a move. The bright maroon on the far outside into the top of the stretch, just barely in front. Clubhouse Saint is starting to open up. Now they're in front by two lengths. Oratory Glory makes a move as well. Canterbury Gold is tired. In front still, Clubhouse Saint in front by two. Streamer making a final lurch to catch him, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. Clubhouse Saint only continues to open up the margin and is going to win it by four on the line. Streamer was second, two back to Oratory Glory, and Canterbury Gold was four. And we're off. Missing the break by a length was Stradari. Out to the front on the outside, Big Al's Princess. On the inside of her, Dozo now takes the lead for herself. Big Al's Princess in second. Janeiro Rose will be in the third spot, followed then by Palastar and Mo Connolly. Stradari is now starting to move up around horses. And at the back of the pack, we have Shoe Game. The leader by a neck is Dozo, challenged by Big Al's Princess. Another two back to Janeiro Rose, and two again to Stradari, who's made up after that start. A length back then to Mo Connolly and Palastar. Star, and the trailer is shoe game as we're now rounding the far turn and we hit the quarter pole in front but lugging out a little bit is Dozo Dozo's looking in on the inside rail finding some room Janeiro Rose is trying to take her shot on the inside Janeiro Rose on the inside of Dozo Dozo is trying to straighten herself out but now Janeiro Rose capitalizes on it she's in front and now starting to open up Dozo has settled but it's too late it is Janeiro Rose in front by two lengths Dozo was second, and then it was a big gap to third, which was Big Al's Princess, and a photo for fourth between Palastar and Mo Connolly.